Hey beautiful people, I'm Sharon, also known as Mrs. Q. Welcome and thank you for joining me for another Karen Millen review. Unlike my last one, I don't know what made me feel to open this off camera and check out the items before showing them to you, but boy, am I glad I did because I really hate to say this, but I was cringing when I opened each of these items. I mean, the second most expensive dress, which is £89 at full price, was wrapped in cellophane paper it was creased it was crinkled and it just looked so awful that if i had have paid full price for it 89 pounds i would have been so disappointed to receive this all of the other items were also quite creased and i think the packaging did leave a lot to be desired on this occasion the last time i did order from karen millen it wasn't actually so bad I'm not sure possibly if it was the material of the items or maybe they just had been packaged somewhere else. But definitely for this order, Karen Millen really need to step up their packaging game. I mean, even when you order stuff from Two, which is Sainsbury's own clothing brand, a supermarket clothing brand, the stuff comes on hangers and in the plastic uh, covers like they just came from the dry cleaners. Anyway, I've steamed and styled everything, so feel much happier showing you what I got. So as I've mentioned it already, this is the second most expensive item, and it is an £89 dress. Uh, Karen Millen referred to it as a heavy satin draped woven mini dress. I got this in a UK size 14 in the colour neutral. It also comes in the colour lime, which is from what I saw online, very, very bright. <laughs> the style notes on this item are the summer mini dress, but not as you know it. Crafted from luxe draped satin, this unique piece shows off glamorous gathers framing the bust along with a not wasted belt and a flirty mini skirt. The liquid like fabric makes it perfect for balmy days, whilst a sultry back cutout only adds to its summer allure. I have to say the material feels really, really, really nice. It's 100% viscose. Um, and as I say, the color is neutral, they call it, but it's more of a um, cream, like buttermilk, ivory color, I would say. Like a really, really light beige. The fabric has a very soft sheen on it. So it's not like it's too <clears throat> shiny, uh, to wear out in the daytime if you just dress it down maybe with a pair of sandals uh, in the evening obviously you can wear a pair of high heels whatever footwear really you can even wear this with a pair of trainers listen everything is in fashion these days so yeah definitely you can rock that with trainers sandals high heel shoes wedges boots you name it a couple of things that i really liked about the dress is the bust line is so 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 very flattering i think it's going to be the gathers and the draping they just give you a fuller bust as it were uh, another thing that I do like is the neckline of it it's giving me like some serious grown woman elegant lady evening shirt vibes another thing that I really liked about the dress is even though it is a mini dress it's not one of those dresses where it leaves you with everything hanging out I'm very much of the old school fashion rule of having one or the other out but not both at the same time so for example if you were to wear possibly a skimpier more revealing top with more of your chest and your arms exposed personally I would then go for a midi skirt or a pair of trousers or a nice pair of jeans or vice versa so with this really elegant neckline I think it is still quite sexy in a very classy and downplayed way it also has a great balance to the whole dress uh, as a whole and I think it really does leave a little something to the imagination which in my opinion is never a bad idea one thing I didn't like about this dress was how it really emphasized my belly area I'm no skinny mini and I do carry a lot of weight around my belly and my waist and as I say it really did emphasize that a lot um, I did try it on with Spanx and without Spanx and it made no difference at all I think the only thing that you could be confident about if you do put your Spanx on underneath it is that your modesty will be protected if the wind blows you all know I love a slip dress and I've done a comparison with one that I got from Primark. It's also 100% viscose. It's pretty much exactly the same color as this Karen Millen one and I can swear 
these two dresses were actually cut from the same cloth. I liked the dress from Primark so much, obviously, and I had to <laughs> buy it in all the colors that they had available in my size. They were on sale, reduced from, I think it was either 13 or 15 pounds, the ivory sort of like cream one and the animal print green, I think it's like a greeny khaki and black uh, animal print one. They were seven pounds and the pink one was three pounds. I'm going to do the next two pieces together. So the first one is this dress, which Karen Willen referred to as a fluid crepe cow neck woven midi dress. I got this in the UK 14 for £24 and it was reduced from £119 and I got it in the colour mango. The style notes on the dress from Karen Millen, same. Look forward to dressing up again with this bold midi dress in your repertoire in a pop of colour that's perfect for spring's optimistic mood. It's sure to stand out from the crowd and features an on-trend cow neck line and seductive hem split. Spin around to show off the unusual draped back detailing and sultry scoop finish. I liked the colour of this dress a lot, but it was very, very orange. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally bordering on being neon orange. The cow neckline is not one that I'm used to. I feel that they should sit a little bit lower, should be a little bit more sultry, as it were. This one just seemed too high, too rigid. Um, so yeah, I didn't really like that. And also the drape back that they refer to, it sat in a really weird position uh, on the back. I think it was probably a little bit too low, so I'm going to quickly go on to the next item, which is this top, the Chain Fluid Crepe Cowl Halter Woven Top. Um, I got this in a size 14, it's in the colour Lime, and it was reduced from £49 to £15. The style notes on Karen Millen, same. Artfully defined by its unique chunky chain print and swirling colours, this slouchy halter neck top was made for showing off polished shoulders. It marries an on-trend cowl neckline with a sultry open back, making it the perfect plus one for every late night occasion in your summer calendar. This looked really exciting. There was something about that sort of 70s print to it. I love a halter neck, I love a cowl neck, but there was just something so wrong about this and the dress before that just wasn't bringing back those wonderful, joyful 90s feelings that I used to have getting dressed up back in the day when I did used to buy Karen Millen. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, there's just something very off about both of these two pieces. The fabric kind of reminded me of a... I'm going to say a 70s crimplin, <laughs> a fabric, probably just a bit lighter, not as garish in print or anything like that, and with a bit more stretch. But yeah, I think both these pieces should have been left in the 70s and the 90s where they worked better. I really had high hopes for this last piece, and it is the bandage bustier made with recycled yarn. I got it in a UK 16. It was reduced to 15 pounds from 75 pounds. The color I got it in was nude and the style notes same. Nodding to the season's penchant for high fashion corsetry, the bandage bustier contours the form with bold allure. Taking direction from lingerie design, it has a bandeau sweetheart neckline that's sculpted with ribbed detailing. Easing into a close fit body, it has streamlined vertical piping and an exposed rear zip. Pair with a red lip and classic denim for a balanced ensemble. I've got to be honest about this top. I did the number one shopper's no-no and I bought it with one other piece of clothing that it might go with in mind. I have this beautiful pair of uh, blush, dusky, antique pink trousers that I've had for a long time. They fit really well and I've always kind of wanted to pair it with a perfectly matched colour top and yeah this is just that item that I thought yeah this is going to go perfectly with it and it didn't <laughs> which is probably not the worst thing because if I'm honest I'd probably only give this top about I'm going to say <sighs> a four out of ten maybe and the color didn't match perfectly as much as I'm no skinny mini and I do have my rolls and my lumps and bumps I really didn't like the Michelin man look that it gave me on the back of it I also did get this feeling that it would keep 
rolling up or trying to pull down, even though it does have that uh, silicone on the inside of the fan. I'm actually going to show you that here. So it actually has, I'm not sure how well this is going to show up, but it does actually have, there you go. So it does actually have this band of silicone at the top, which should keep it from slipping down. But I really didn't feel that it was going to do that very well. It does have a nice zip on the back of it which I would have hoped would have given it more structure that normally boning in these little bits here would have done. It doesn't actually have any boning, but the zip doesn't give it much structure at all. And as I say, it just kept feeling like it was clumping up. Um, I think it's almost too short as well. So structurally, even though it's pretty structurally, I don't think it's made very well. Uh, I think if you're going to buy a corset, buy an actual real proper corset, not something that's made to look like a corset. I'd say it looks like a corset. It has the shape of a corset, but it absolutely does not have the structure of a corset. Again, I've worn it tucked and I've worn it untucked. And I think it just really is just way too short. Hence why it keeps feeling like it's going to roll up. I think it would do better if it was a bodysuit or a dress. I could be on board with uh, either of those two pieces if they ever made one. Not a huge bodysuit fan, but I would definitely give it a try and it would probably be an absolute yes if it was a dress. In summary, this shop really has left me wondering, are my expectations too high or is my budget too low? Still, however, I can't seem to help myself when I get on a trend or latch onto a brand. And in this case, I am determined that Karen Millen will redeem themselves and I've already placed another order for a couple more items in the hope that third time will be the charm. If you'd like to see part three, please do subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. But in the meantime, please do feel free to share, like and comment and I will see you next time.